Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome back to Utoxin Plays Factorio. Hello, little construction bot. I don't know where you've been, but uh, welcome back. Um, so, off camera, I finished building this oil station thing. Um, I gave up and looked at some online, like, other people's layouts, and then I stole it and tweaked it. I'm not positive this is the right ratio, but based on my calculations, it should be pretty close. Um, basically, this is as big as one water pump can support um, from how I read things. So it, it should be just about as much output as we can get without having to start doing tricky stuff. So um, it's all powered up. It's all ready to go. I just have one pipe I have to hook up. Um, it only has one tank in the whole thing. So if I hook that up, we should start seeing green lights come across the whole thing. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. And we got a few little red lights and stuff flickering in here, but I'd rather ha have these be slightly starved than have these be back stuffing. Uh, and I think, I think we're good. Now, let's come down here. Um, okay. This is probably overkill. Based on my calculations, this is way overkill. I may only need one machine, but uh, this way there's a lot of them, and they can all do stuff. So that, that should be good. Um, we, are, we are getting tanks of gas here. Um, are we back stuffing up here at all? Nope, we are not back stuffing. Uh, there are, well, they're back stuffed. Why are they back stuffed? They should. This pipe must be. Hmm. I may need to run a separate output pipe. Okay, I can do that. Um, we can run one out this side. Let's see, and what we can do is we can run this pipe over to like here. Do like so. And then bring this over like so. Okay. And somewhere I should have... I missed, okay, there we go. Okay, are we going to unback stuff everything here? I'm not sure. These are back stuffed and I'm not sure why. Oh, cause these are, oh, I'm probably out of barrels down here. Yeah, we're, we're almost out of barrels here as part of what's going on. Okay, so th that's that's what's going on. I think this will work. I think this will do the job. Um, and I have this stocked with one train load worth of barrels. Um, 
basically trains are going to be half half empty barrels, half full barrels, and they'll just go back and forth, uh, carrying you know their their product back and forth. Um, oh, hello! More mining productivity. Awesome. What is our bonus up to now? Uh, mining sixty six percent. Holy cow! That is awesome. Okay. So, now we need to make use of this. Um, so we have that there. We still need to get like a rocket fuel and lube station here, but that's okay. Um, we now have a petroleum barrel station, which is awesome. Uh, now, we need to deliver those petroleum barrels somewhere. Um, which is probably somewhere in this vicinity. Probably like another station right here would be good for now. Um, so that we can provide them to our main network. Or if I can scoot these, or if I can like fit a station between them. Because I need to make this really compact. Um, I can probably fit a station in between there without difficulty. Um, okay, there we are. Um, that will let us feed plastic and sulfuric acid production. Okay. Plastic, sulfuric acid, and explosives. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get to work on doing that. Okay. So we have that station. Um How's he doing? He's got six thousand stone on board still. That's crazy. Um, do I want to try and run a station up through here? Can I? Let's see. If I grab rail and bring it like one over from there, just to be polite. Wow, I can actually weave this like right through. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Okay, I can't signal both sides of that, so that'll have to do. This will be relatively low throughput, like a lot of my other stuff. Um, It'll be getting stuff like that. Okay. There we go. Then this needs, let's see. Actually, I can load on. Okay, never mind. Hold on. I can do this unloader on that side. Yeah, like so. Oh, don't need that. Um, why is that still...
There. That was weird. Okay. Okay, so that gets these. Like so. Uh, these aren't wired to anything. They just do that. Um, and they will be petroleum gas barrels. Okay. There's something on the rail line somewhere that wants constructed, because every time I drive by somewhere, I have a bot that just wanders off. Um, okay. That will work. Then on this side, I will have the loading. So on this side, I need requester chests. Um, and these can just be three each. Yeah, like so. Okay. And these will be requesting empty barrels. 70 of them. There we go. Bots are going ahead and bringing stuff down. Let's go ahead and get some more bot charging stations in here. Um, and just for good measure, we will throw in some of those. There we go. Cool. So that will be able to load up a train. Um, I should get a train built for this. I need to build a factory area, like right up in here somewhere, to do the un, uh, unbarreling. But uh, let's let's get a train built. Um, okay. We're going to just go ahead and start here. Okay, you get four wago, cargo wagons. Wago cargons. Um, this, the top will be the empty barrels. And then we will copy and paste that across like so. And then this will be petroleum gas barrels. Okay. Those should all be done. Yep, there we go. Um, color, you're going to be black because you're related to oil. Hey, I'm trying to grab you. Thank you. Um, fuel, you'll get in a minute. Um, schedule. Um, you are going to, for right now, um, I presume that's actually my new station, but let's go name it just to be sure. Um, there we go. Oh, hello. You're going to go again right now. This is, yeah, that was the new station. Um, petroleum barrel base drop off okay there's that okay so he gets petroleum barrel base drop off um, for an item count condition okay he stays here until Uh, petroleum gas barrel is equal to zero, 
and another item count condition. Empty barrel is equal to 200. No, let's see. 100 per row, 200 times 4, 800. Then he goes to petroleum barrel pickup with an item count condition. And he waits for empty barrels to equal zero. And item count, petroleum gas barrels to equal 800. And that needs to be an and condition. Okay, then we're going to see if that works. Okay, put 10 in each of these. Okay. And, okay, we're going to have to drive this manually for a second. Stop and then back up. Okay. Nope. Nope. There we go. Uh, okay, go there on automatic. So it'll pull into here. Uh, manual. I missed something. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. I said. Thank you. Okay. I need these to be. Filter inserters, and they need to only pull off um, yeah. Okay. So the outer ones get this one with no other conditions. And then the inner one gets the one with the circuit network condition. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so is this filled up? This should have 800. Yep, it has 800. Okay. And then we want to go to petroleum barrel pickup. Which is a bit of a ride, but it should work well. Oh, such a fun ride. I love this bridge I made across this lake. Okay. Then we come up here. Then we come into here. And we watch, and it's the transfer is that fast. Holy cow! Okay, and then we're on our way back. Uh, 
Uh, do I have radar up there? I do. Okay. It's working. And something feels unbalanced about this. I don't know where my issue is. It's probably a pipe flow issue. Um, so then we should pull into here. And that will happen. And that quick, we are good to go again. We should have 800. Yep, we have 800 empty and no petroleum. That's good. We'll ride it back up there, and then I want to hop out and check on some stuff. Um, in the interests of making my life easier, uh, let's see. You can head to PAX Oil Processing, please, because I'm going to need a train to pick me up up here. Pull into station. Wow. Okay. Why are you getting petroleum so slowly? don't understand why that's coming in so slowly. Are you back stuffed? No, you're you're short on water. Why are you Oh dear. So, I miscalculated my water demands. Uh, but w these pipes can carry more. Do I have I don't have another Okay, I'm gonna need another pump because there's there's the water shortage issue up here. Okay, that gives me some info at least. Um, let's see, where are we at time wise? Oh, we still got a minute. Let us uh, run back and uh, do that. Uh, and I'm gonna be right back in just a second because I need to see what that message was about. So see you guys in just a second. And I am back. Um, so, yeah, I dealt with the message. And I've added a second offshore pump there. That should fix the issue. I'm not sure why it was getting starved. My calculations must have been off. Um, so, yeah, I wonder, actually, can max rate calculate for those pumps? Inputs. Okay. Yeah, and it shows these net machines, but I think those are okay, because I'm not actually getting back stuffed on those. Um, so something about this seems like it's miscalculating. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, anyway, uh, that is built out um, and should now be supplying all of the uh, petroleum gas we could ever need. So if we pop back home, uh, then we should be able to start unpacking uh, all of that petroleum gas into our network. And then I just need to build the lube and rocket fuel outpost. And we can remove our oil processing from our base entirely which will be amazing. So let's go work on that. Okay.
Oh, this is this has been such a fun series so far. I am having a great time. Uh, I can't wait to start. I, I want to get this science all scaled up, but the, I have to get all of this prep work done to make sure I have enough material. Um, which is just taking a lot of work. Uh, I don't need that. Okay, so where do I want to do this processing? And I guess I can do it like right up here. I have this big space right here. Um, what are you, you were covering something, but not too much. Uh, you're also not covering anything important. No, neither are you. Well, actually, you're kind of important. We will put... Another station there. There we go. We'll probably be putting some of those RoboPorts back, but I just wanted to clear some space here to work with. Um, okay. So, as far as petroleum products go, I need four plastic machines. At least that's what I have. Um, and in theory, I might be able to use that many. So let's come up here um, and get myself... I'm going to need myself some chemical plants. Bring me 20 of those, please. Um, I have beacons. I have productivity modules and such. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm probably not in a logistics network, am I? Okay. Let's pop out into a logistics network. And they should bring them to me momentarily. Thank you. Um, okay, so what am I using coal for in this network now? Coal is getting sent over there for that. And it is getting used to make plastic and explosives. And that is it. Um, okay, so we are going to make some coal, requ coal provider chests here. Um, how do I want to do that? Um... I'll have to think about how I want to do that. Meanwhile, let's come up here. Um, so, we need to make plastic. We want four plastic machines. We want those plastic machines to be uh, beaconed, and we want them to output onto a central belt. Um, okay. So, we want max beaconing on these which means uh, there and there. Okay, that can output on that side. Um, this can come along here. This can come along here. These can get merged onto one belt right there. So that goes like so. Um, let's see, if I do... I mean, I can hit this whole thing with just two of those. Okay. So these need to be plastic, which needs coal and petroleum gas. Ah, okay. So I need to get a little bit fancier here. I need to have petroleum gas come in. Um, 
So if I belt weave these, hello, autosave, thank you. Um, there we go. Oh, um, let's see. I can get sneaky here. We can do like so for my belt weaving, which leaves me the middle slots to insert my coal. Um, let's see, I want, and I want these. Okay, um, how much is that going to require? That's going to require, I want per second, 227. So that needs one barrel per second, a little bit less than one barrel per second, um, which is easy because a machine can unbarrel one barrel per second without any speed upgrades. <clears throat> Um, okay. So we can just have one machine here, one machine here. This will be unbarreling petroleum gas. Um, like so. We'll go ahead and beacon one more just to beacon it, but. Um, I mean, this is going to be ridiculously fast and easy. Um, we will give it some roboports. Boom. Boom. Boom and boom. So that will give it roboports. Okay, then we need stack inserters, uh, which I have right here. Boom. Uh, stack inserters will go into those spots and into these spots. And we will have requester chests. Where's my requester chests? Uh, there they are. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, how much these need items per second? I need 22 coal per second. So if I request 200 divided by 4, so 50. Now let's do 500 ish. That seems excessive. Let's do 100, I think. That's, uh, it, this thing is not going to run full tilt, I'm sure. Um, 100. So do that. Then this we will request like 2, so like 20. There we go. Um, oh, I'm going to need to export the empty barrels like so. Um, we're going to go over here and we are going to tell this logistics connect enable if empty barrel is less than 100. That, that should be fine. Um, Oh, 
Okay. So now these things just need coal, which I need to create a unloader for. But that will have to happen next episode because we are out of time. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin Plays Factorio. And I will see you next time.